Let me show you how to edit a full YouTube video in the Movavi Video Editor 26. No matter if you want to edit YouTube videos, Instagram Reels or TikToks, I will show you all the tools you need. Let's go. This is what the video editor looks like when you open it up for the first time. The first thing I would recommend you to do is to go to File and Save Project. This will open up a prompt where you can save your project. So I just name it or tutorial project. You can select a folder and just click save. Now you can see the name of the project right here. The next thing we're going to do is to add some files. So we can already choose videos, audio and even pictures. So I will take some videos, drone videos and the music selected and open it and you can now hover them and you already see a video preview which is super convenient and once you're for example at effects or any other tab just keep in mind that you can go back to import and to project files and this is where all your files are now before we start editing let's make sure do you want to edit a long form video horizontally or an instagram reel for example vertically let me show you where to adjust the screen size you just hover over your video preview and right here you see 16 by 9 and you can change it to for example 9 by 16 which is perfect for TikToks, Instagram Reels or even YouTube Shorts or Instagram Stories. You can also do custom aspect ratios which can be pretty helpful but for now we will just stick with 16 by 9 for YouTube videos. Let's drag and drop the first YouTube video into our timeline. And let me show you the basic tools. First thing we could do is, for example, add some cuts. So this is a talking part of me speaking to the camera. And I see here there's silence. So I want to remove this part. What I can do is just choose the blade, make a cut right here, and a cut right here. Then I can just press A, which brings me back to the selection tool and then I just select this part, delete it and I can move our other part forward and now this silence has been deleted but we can do all of that with just one click because when you do Instagram Reels, YouTube videos you don't want any silences in your videos so I just undo this with command set and I'm going to select the video and right here is the silence removal tool I just click on it and I can either do everything automatically or I choose manual. So if your surroundings are really loud, you can um, increase the volume threshold, for example. At the duration, you can choose the minimum length of the silence. So if a silence only is 0.5 seconds, it'll, it will not be removed right now, the delay. So after you stop speaking, there will be a 0.2 second delay. So it's not a prompt and you can remove it without gaps or with gaps. So if you choose with gaps, it will look something like this. But we'll do everything automatically. Let's see how good that works. That took less than one second and you can see the exact cut that we did has been done automatically by AI. Now talking about audio, I just want to quickly show you some audio effects and then we will move on to some more effects and transitions for video. Now, right here, you can find audio effects and we can just drag and drop any effect, for example, radio onto a clip. And now listen to that. And when shooting in 4K 60 FPS, there was noticeable cropping. This really sounds like it was coming from a radio. And this is how we can do some really cool effects. Now, next, let's add some drone videos and do some transitions and effects. I will just select all my drone videos. Right now, I see there's first drone four, drone three. So what I'm going to do is I sort them from name A to Z. And now when I select them and drag them right here, they will be in this order. And now we want to have FP. a transition from the part okay, where I'm talking FP. to my drone video. For that, let's go to transitions. And the cool thing is you can just navigate to the first clip from where the transition should start and then hover over the transition and it will give you the preview. Another tip, which works if you have a faster 
and more powerful PC or laptop, you can go to the settings and enable the high resolution preview. So the preview is sharper, but it needs more performance. So check if your laptop can handle it. And now also the transition previews will look better. So my favorite transition from here definitely is the flash. So we just drag and drop it between these clips and we can also adjust the length. So just drag and drop it. I want to have it a bit shorter. So let's see what it looks like. No, that's still too long. What we can do is do a double click and adjust the transition duration really precisely. So you can see right now, this is just a quick flash and this can be a really nice effect. We can also put it to 0.5 seconds. That's way better. And did you see, we've got so many options for different effects, cinematic, education and work, and many of them you can just download and you can also get them from the marketplace, for example. At vlogging and style, for example, there also are some really nice effects. For example, let's install and drag and drop this circle. And this is a paid effect from the marketplace. For this one, you need a Movavi effect subscription. So I just press skip because I still want to show it to you. I mean, there's still enough transitions that are free, but to really level up your videos, this can be look really nice. Now let's get to one of my other favorite features here. We'll take the music. Let's just drag and drop it here and listen to the beat. How cool would it be to have your clips automatically be edited to this beat? That's what we're going to do. We go to tools and there we can find the beat detection. Now we just press detect audio beats. That was so fast again. I'm pretty impressed. Now, you see, we've got markers right here. I still want it to be faster <laughs> and it adjusts in real time. That's kind of insane. That's so cool. But what does it help? We can now move all our drone videos perfectly to these markers. So let me just shorten the videos a bit. We take this one. We can easily drag and drop all our drone clips to these markers. So. For example, let's get the first drone video. I will just shorten it and drag it here to the first marker. And yes, it's adjusted to the second marker. And this is what I'm going to do for all my other drone videos. So I drag it here and adjust it to the second marker. Now the last clip. Let's remove the transition right here. And now look at that. That's so cool. I just saw a black frame here, right? Yep, it's right here. So we can easily zoom into the timeline and we see I made this video too short, but like this. And I can. Now it should work. Command minus and I can zoom out. That was so easy. Now let me show you some more effects and then we're going to automatically create subtitles for our video. So for the effects, we go to effects and there again, you see a big collection of different effects. Let's download the film black and white. It's installing and I will drag and drop it onto a drone video. This definitely gives us an old vibe and could match to some videos. For me, it's just a bit too, too playful. This is a lot better for my personal style. So 
It's still got some scratches, but they're not too intense. That's cool. We got oh, we got some really cool effects that you can use for YouTube videos. A rewind effect. So if you want to go back in time, and for this effect, I would also recommend you to adjust the speed. We can just either double click on the clip or we click here on the clip settings and there's the speed. So we can speed it up to three times, for example, and we can also reverse it. Look at that. And that's how you can get a really nice rewind effect. I love that. And now I told you we can automatically create subtitles for our talking parts, no matter if it's Instagram, Reels or any YouTube tutorials. What I'm going to do is I can select all the clips that need subtitles and I just click here, auto subtitles. So what I love about the software is all the features you really need, they're so easily accessible like this, auto subtitles. Um, it can automatically detect the language. For me, it's English. We'll still try if auto detection will work and we don't want to translate it, but it's cool to have the option to translate, for example, Spanish or German into English. Number of lines, I like to keep it clean with one line. Let's click generate. Let's, nah, that's so fast again. I'm pretty impressed. While I loved many advantages compared to my Sony, there it even detects brand names. There were still two reasons why I didn't make the full switch. First, there was no slow-mo. It's like such a niche word. Slow-mo option for open gate and open gate as well. Secondly, if you shoot in 4K 60 slow motion, there was noticeable cropping sometimes. And when shooting in 4K 60 FPS, there was noticeable cropping, which and when shooting 4K 60 FPS. Even things like 4K 60 FPS, the grammar is correct. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. And I'm, I'm just not impressed by the design. So we just select all the clips and go to styles or design. Say what you want, but this is so cool. <laughs> Tape vertical. No. No, that's too cool. We can place them in the middle, we can place them here. I like that. Maybe a bit too much. And all of this is for free. It's not available on the marketplace. It's already integrated into the software. So is it applied to all the subtitles? Yes. Some of them will be included in your subscription for the Movavi effects, but some of them are free. So. It's so cool, you have to preview right here. I actually like this animation a lot and we can just drag and drop it onto our text layer. And it will fly in like this, but I actually want to have this on our drone videos. Does that work? Yes, I will start it after the rewind and I want to make it a bit faster, is that possible? Yes, animation speed, let's do it way faster. Yeah, so cool. I just want to change the color to black. And that's how we easily have an effect. So this was iOS Greece. So we can just enter the location. So cool. And motion tracking. It's such a fun thing. So we need a longer clip for this. So I can really show it to you. Uh, for example, here. Let's try to track this text onto this building. So I choose motion tracking, but I want it for, for this text right here. One more thing I have to show you. For example, if you want to blur a part of your video, let's for example, blur the pool. We just have to go to tools, highlight and conceal, and we can choose um, the blurred rectangle, for example. Just put it to the size you need. Go to the mask properties, choose feathering, increase it a bit so it's just softer. Adjust the mask again and then go to motion tracking. Now let's see if you got the pool, for example, from here. That worked great. So if there were any people, you wouldn't be able to see them now. 
This is how you can create amazing videos with this software. And if you quickly want to switch from horizontal to vertical, you just can use this right here. And if you want to adjust the size of your video, you can just go to crop, adjust it, click apply, and then your video will be vertical. And the cool thing is, the effects will be adjusted automatically. You can see the rewind text still is visible. Last step, go to export, choose quality high. This is what I would recommend you. Choose where to save your final video and go to start. And then your video will be exported. Actually, pretty quick. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Hit the link below to get Movavi Video Editor 2026 for a full year and save 25% with the code Matthias25. And I'm sure you'll have lots of fun with it. Happy editing.